<laughs> I used to be all self-conscious of blowing my nose in front of like a class of 20 people. I just probably blew it in front of about 100,000 people, so <laughs> times have changed. I've been sick since I posted my last video on Monday, so it's been like five days now. But thank you all for your concern. I'm sure I'll get over it in the next few days. But let's get into business. Over on Twitter, I asked you guys what I should do this week, because honestly, I'm running out of ideas a little bit. And I'd like to thank, number one, the homie Emma for trying to give me a little bit of a break, because if you didn't know, we've had some catastrophic failures these past few weeks. And number two, shout outs to Hector, because he suggested the ice cream rolls, which obviously is what we're trying out this week. These things have been absolutely everywhere the past few months. You literally can't go on a social media and not see a video of it. And if you're about to be one of those commenters that say, David, Tasty hasn't posted a video about this. This is not a BuzzFeed test. BuzzFeed has posted about five articles about it by now, so I think I'm allowed. But enough talking, maybe this ice cream will end up making me feel better somehow. So let's get right into it. So guys, this is gonna be one of the most simple recipes we've done in, I can't remember how long. Literally all you need is some whole milk, heavy cream, some sugar, and some salt. And then of course, whatever toppings or colorings you're gonna add at the very end, but this is for the base. Begin over on your stove top by measuring out three tablespoons of whole milk, a quarter of a cup of heavy cream, one tablespoon of your sugar, and just a pinch of salt. Using a rubber heat resistant spatula over high heat, stir this mixture, making sure all that salt and sugar dissolves. Now once this mix does start bubbling, just turn off the heat, set it to the side, and let it come back to room temperature. In the meantime, I grab myself a cookie sheet and some putty knives that I just bought for about $4 each, I think. Uh, make sure you remove the stickers and wash these thoroughly, because we don't know who's been touching up on them. Now after about 5-10 to 10 minutes, once your base has completely cooled down, you could slowly pour it in the middle of your cookie sheet, add in your Oreos, and start chopping away. There's really no proper or fancy way to go about this. Just chop and make as much noise as you possibly can. Make sure the whole house hears you. And being that this mix is pretty much just straight up sugary heavy cream, it does have a tendency to run everywhere, but just kept trying to keep it in the middle. Hopefully it'll stay together while it freezes. I think I gave mine about eight hours in total. I'm not sure exactly how much you need, but this is looking good. So I once again grabbed the putty knife and reluctantly began to start rolling. With some of the recipes we've done recently, this was much needed. Something that actually works as advertised, so you can imagine how relieved I am. Let's give it a taste. Now in the process between what you just saw and me running back down here, uh, it did melt a little bit, but it's still mostly intact. They're not the prettiest. I'm gonna attempt to eat this as a roll. Are you supposed to pick it up and eat it? I don't even know. Here we go. Guys, I'm like, I, I can't fathom what's happening right now. I found something that doesn't take hours to do. It comes out like it actually says it should come out and it tastes amazing. What is this? This is excellent. This is like some of the best ice cream I've had in a while too. I'm impressed guys. I have no complaints. It's not overly sweet or anything like that. This thing is getting a 10. And now we have to ask ourselves if it's a coincidence that the first recipe that has gotten a 10 in a while isn't a Buzzfeed recipe. If they didn't hate me before, they hate me now. Now because everything worked out so perfectly and I'm sure this is probably a kind of a short video right now, I'm gonna try it all again and change it up a little bit. Mainly because I've always wanted to do something galaxy and I've never done it before, so let's try it with this. I quickly whipped up another batch of that ice cream base with the milk and the heavy cream and then just divided it into three different containers. I attempted to use these gel icing colors to make one a nice light pink one a blue, and then I was gonna combine the two colors to make a purple, but it kinda just turned into like this nasty looking gray brown purple. But I think it's close enough. So I grabbed a different cookie sheet and then first laid down that nasty murky purple, and then just lightly drizzled over that both the pink and the blue, and surprisingly this is actually not looking too bad. I gave this one the same amount of time in the freezer, about seven and a half hours, 
And just like before, I grabbed a clean putty knife and tried to make some rolls out of this. Now I'm sensing some correlation here. Every single time I add this stupid gel icing coloring, it ends up ruining the recipe. Either that or I messed up the base the second time I made it, but uh, either way, the first time works, so we're gonna stick with that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this week's BuzzFeed test. If you did, slap a like on this video. Let's try to hit like 6400, somewhere in that range. Quickly before I go, I'm gonna shout out all of the Lucky Charms giveaway winners right here. I did an Instagram live stream and uh, randomly picked them. If you weren't there, these are all the winners. Uh, I've notified them all, so unfortunately, if you did enter and your name's not here, I'm sorry, but you didn't win. And guys, we are so close to 200,000 subscribers. I like, I didn't even realize how close we were until this morning, honestly. <coughs> I'm dying. But whenever it is that we hit that number, whether it's next week, next month, I don't care, whatever. I have some amazing announcements that I, I cannot express how badly I want to just tell you now, but I'm going to wait. And it may or may not involve some more giveaways. I don't want to give too much away now. Just keep that in mind. But other than that, I hope you have an awesome rest of your week, and I'll see you right back here for the next video. Hopefully either Sunday night or Monday morning-ish, I'll have another DIY for you.